Hey guys, even here this is your Portugal Pro Top 4, and no, Ian Valier did not win it, it wasn't even Lucas Osladil. The winner of this show is the guy standing in the middle next to Lucas and his name is Shaban Mostafa or Mostafa Shaban, if I pronounce his name properly. So this guy is from Egypt I believe and he trains in Kuwait in the oxygen gym, so he's their guy, camel crew guy. And um, it wasn't politics for sure, he absolutely deserved it. At first when I saw a photo of them together, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later, it seems like he robbed them. It seems like Ian was robbed, for example. Maybe even Lucas too, but that didn't happen. For example, if you take a look at this mandatory front relax pose, you can see why Ian didn't play so well. His chest just looks very awkward, his arms as well. He's a huge bodybuilder, a great bodybuilder, but this pose, for example, looks kind of odd, doesn't look perfect, doesn't look very good, for some reason, his chest looks awkward. The same thing here, pretty much, in his uh, front double bicep. I mean, he's dwarfing all of these guys, his legs are freaking enormous, his arms are also big, but look at his chest. He does a vacuum, but his lats don't flare up, and also his chest looks shallow. Overall, very odd way to hit the pose, it just doesn't look right, it's just his structure probably. On the other hand, you have uh, Shaban and Lucas in the middle, they both look better than Ian in this pose, but I'm gonna show you in the end why Shaban won the show. So from front double bicep we come to front lat spread, which is kind of a good pose for Ian, really, I mean he shows a lot of mass, but only mass, I mean if you take a look at his chest, it looks flat, asymmetrical and not good at all. The same thing goes with his details in his quads. And his waist doesn't look very tight. So I wouldn't go for Ian here, even though he dwarfs these people, he just doesn't look proper. I would rather go with uh, Lucas on this one or Shaban. Or this guy on the right who turned pro just yesterday. That's right, yesterday, I know, I know, crazy. His name is Florian and uh, he flourished like a flower in spring. Basically, he turned pro yesterday and now he placed fourth at this huge show. I mean, this is not a huge show like some of the shows that we had this year, considering the fact that this is a Mr. Olympia qualifier. It's not that big of a show, but it is a big show for sure. It's a pro qualifier, actually Mr. Olympia qualifier. So now we come to the side chest pose. And guys, this is a pose where Ian absolutely dominates the stage. Ian is by far, by far, definitely looking the best here. And guys, I apologize for the horrible quality of the video, but we don't have anything better. Nobody is making official 4K videos of these shows. This is probably somebody who filmed that with a camera, with a horrible camera, actually. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, here we have side tricep. Once again, very, very strong pose for Ian. He absolutely dominates the stage as well. Here, like the one before. So all of his side poses are actually showing a lot of thickness that he is known for. So for that reason, side poses are great for him, but other poses, front and back poses are really hurting him a lot. Basically, he is placing highly simply because of the mass that he possesses. he's a beast, and because of the thickness that he has, especially shown from the side. But other than that, and also most muscular, most muscular on him is looking freaking impressive. But other than that, really, he doesn't have a lot. So we're gonna have to wait for a couple of years for him to improve many other body parts that are problematic. He definitely does have to improve his back and his chest if possible, so here you can see that his back is not uh, that good. He is showing a lot of mass, for sure, but the detail, the very detail in his back is not there. So for example, Lucas Osladil, even though he poses with his butt like a beginner girl, has better back than Ian. And I'm not saying that his way of posing is wrong, that it's hurting him. I mean, he's an IBB pro, he's one of the top pros, he, he's definitely practicing posing every single day, and I am sure that he tried to pose with his glutes normally to try to flex them, but it sure as hell doesn't look better than this. I'm sure he knows that, he's not stupid, so this is probably the best way for him, and this is all we get, and he does show great development, muscular development on his glutes. But it does look weird, and uh, anyways, now you can see why the guy won. Uh, you can see that Shaban here is looking very, very good. He's shorter than them, but uh, compared, I mean, from the back, compared to the other guys, he's not blowing them away with his back, but he is better in every single pose. I mean, he has everything, he's complete. Ian has many weak poses, same thing with Lucas. 
this guy is the most complete. He has the biggest amount of good poses. Even though his back is not absolutely annihilating the lineup, it is very impressive. Look at his back. It's very good. A lot of details, a lot of thickness, a lot of separation, very big, very developed, great back, complete back, very good back. So I think that's the main argument that you can have for him winning this show. And I think he deserved it for sure. But the guy on the right, Florian, maybe he was robbed actually, but he deserved better. I mean, he looked very good, but I mean, for his first pro show after turning pro a day before, it's really good. And here you can see Jan's most muscular, very good. This right here is your winner, Shaban Mohamed. Deservedly so, he, he won the show. Lucas conditioned as usual, but structurally not as good as the other guys. So he did not win the show, but he was good enough to take second place. So he beat Ian. Ian was third, actually. And I think that was how it was supposed to be. Ian looked impressive, freaking impressive like hell from the sides. And in the most muscular, but not much else from that. You had Samson Dauda taking fifth place. Very big potential, I would say. If he adds a little bit more muscle and comes a bit more matured, he can place high. Henry Pierdiano surprisingly cracks the top 10, which was really surprising. I didn't expect him to place that well in a stacked lineup of 21 pro bodybuilders open class. You had uh, Milan Sadek who took only 8th place, so very unfortunate for him, he'll probably not be at the Mr. Olympia. So once again, Henry Pierre Anno, who transferred from Classic Physique, being 4th place at the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia, coming to Open Division, took 10th place at a very good professional IBB Men's Open show, which was surprising. Once he carved up, he looked much fuller, much bigger. Here you can see the top 3, actually. These photos are definitely higher quality than that video. The video is horrible. I'm very sorry, I apologize, but that's all I could find. As soon as I find something better, I will upload that as well, as I always do. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. Anyways, in this post right here in this photo, actually, you can see that Ian is uh, looking the biggest, but he has the angle. He's on the right side and uh, these guys are looking smaller than him, but this is just one pose, not really a pose. In the video, even though it was horrible quality, you can see that this guy, Mohamed Shaban, deserved to win this show. Absolutely. I mean, it wasn't a convincing win, just like Hadi's win at Vancouver Pro. We are not blown away with uh, Shaban's shape, but you're gonna see him at the Mr. Olympia. We'll see how he does. He will probably be out of top 10. I don't think he will crack the top 10, but maybe if he improves, maybe he places higher, but probably like out of top 10, but we'll see. And uh, here in this uh, four right here, you can see that Ian still looks most impressive, but that's just the angle probably. Lucas Osladil though, he looked peeled. He looked so polished. Very good physique of him, very, very good addition, but still his structure didn't allow him to win the show. But I think based on the points, he has enough to compete at the Mr. Olympia. But if he competes at the Tampa Pro and gets a few more points from there, he will actually be sure to compete there, I'm pretty sure, because he competed many, many times this year, showed a lot of great packages, he's always conditioned, but I think this time his best was shown because he looks so freaking peeled, polished. And that's about it for this video, guys. This was your Particle Pro. This is all the material that I could find. I hope you're happy with it. If you are, if you liked it whatsoever, please like the video, help out, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future content. I'm uploading a Q&A video tomorrow. I'm editing it tonight and tomorrow in like 10 hours from now, maybe 15 hours from now, you're gonna see Q&A video uh, and it's gonna be a great one. So please guys, stay tuned, subscribe and all the best. Bye bye.